my Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you're here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. Many years ago, I was a sophomore in college, and I was going to a service project with other college guys. It was a pretty large group, around 30 guys from college, different years in college. And there was this professional that was in charge of the group. He was kind of organizing it. But a few weeks before I was helping this, this guy organize this, this service project, getting the houses, and we were building like um, some houses for people in different neighborhoods, fixing up stuff, like really intense labor. It wasn't easy. And this guy, a few weeks before the um, service project started, he grabbed me and another guy, both of us sophomores in college, and he told us, hey guys, we have these two projects during this service project, and I know I'm going to be there, and I know I have the experience, but I want you guys to be in charge of the projects. I want you guys to organize the teams. I want you guys to be leading every each one of these projects. So you're in charge. This is what we have to do. These are the experiences from all the years. You can ask me questions, but you guys are in charge. I found myself having to organize something really complicated. And at first I looked at this guy and said, what are you crazy? And who am I to organize this? I've never done anything like this. I've never led a team of people, much less my peers. But he just looked at me and said, well, it's time for you to learn. And I jumped in, didn't have much of an option, started organizing with his help, with his experience, but taking the responsibility. Leading this group, 15 guys working with me, for me. And we got the project done. I must say it was pretty scary at first. And then once I got the hang of it, I really enjoyed it. And I really learned a great lesson. I learned that I could do something, that I could be helpful. A lot of things didn't go right. Made a lot of mistakes uh, due to my lack of experience. A lot of things, this professional, this other guy, older guy, had to step in and help me out and give me some advice. But most of the time, he let me carry the weight and it really helped me to learn how to work to understand how to do things and today's gospel reminds me very much of that moment that was so helpful for me personally of growth of responsibility Jesus is surrounded by this large crowd his disciples are there they've been out there outside of the city, far away from civilization. They spend long day preaching, these guys listening to Jesus, and then our Lord realizes that these, it's getting late. These people haven't got anything to eat. They didn't bring anything with them, and they must be hungry. Our Lord is saddened by this because he cares for the people. And so some of the disciples looking at the situation say, Lord, this is a deserted place and it's already very late. Better if you dismiss all these people so that they can go back to the villages and get something to eat there. It's not like we can do something about it. But Jesus, looking around and seeing his disciples there, he says, well, give them some food yourselves. But they re reply, being very realistic, because it was a large crowd. You know, they say, are we to buy 200 days wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? 
the apostles are very pragmatic. At least these apostles that Jesus is talking to is like very pragmatic. How are we going to feed these men? It's impossible. There's thousands of them here. And they bring up this amazingly large sum of money. 200 days wages worth of food. Of course, they didn't have that money. Of course, there was no way they could get that money. And they bring it up to Christ, kind of saying, Lord, there's nothing we can do about this. How many times have we found ourselves in this situation, having to bring people closer to God, having to change society? The environment in my workplace, in high school or in college, Many times we find ourselves being a minority. Many times we find ourselves surrounded by people that don't believe what we believe, by people that are not helping and contributing in a good way to the environment, to society. We find ourselves against the wall and thinking, God, there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I pray, I try to be a good Christian myself, but there's kind of no way I can bring these people closer to you. How am I going to change this environment? How am I going to change my colleagues here at work? But I'm the only one. When all of society and TV series and entertainment, everything is kind of against us. Many times we can feel ourselves surrounded, Lord, not even with all this huge amount of money. Not even if it was five of us here in my class in high school, could we be able to do anything? And we can easily excuse ourselves from doing the right thing. Because, Lord, it seems impossible. Just like it seemed impossible for the apostles in that situation to give something to eat to all these men and women. What does Jesus do? He looks at the disciples just like he looks at us. And he says... How many loaves do you have? Go and see. How much food can you find? What can you do for these people? Don't think too much on the difficulties, on the, the, the negative aspects, of the, the impossibility. What can you do? And the apostles go out and they find five loaves of bread and two fish. Again, being pragmatic, being realistic, it's nothing. Five loaves of bread, two fish for thousands of men and women. But Jesus takes that and he blesses it. And then he starts distributing. And they fed all those men, all those women. What a miracle from Jesus. That multiplication of the loaves of bread and the fish. What a lesson to the apostles. A lesson that they would learn. Because later on, Jesus will go up to heaven after his resurrection. And he would tell them, well, go and make disciples of Christ. All the men in the, around the world. And they look around on themselves and there's like 11 apostles, a few women. What can they do against the world? That is clearly against them. They're being persecuted. They're being put in jail. But with the grace of God, they will not doubt they will go out and do a puzzle and they will turn the world around. Well, Christ is looking at you and me and he's asking us, how much do you have? What can you do for your colleagues, for your friends, for your classmates, for the environment, for society, for your country? Jesus, we come to you with our loaves of bread. We come to you with our fish. Maybe it's not a lot, but we put it at your feet so that you will bless it and multiply it and help us. Feed all the men and women that are so hungry and so, so thirsty for you, Lord. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.